Aloha. I'm Darren Olson. I'm trying to practice my pitch for a honeybee feed that would be able to make honeybees healthy. I'm here at beautiful Ala Moana Park practicing my pitch to try to explain a honeybee feed that would help bees and prevent them from dying. One, we need honeybees. Everything is important in nature. That's why we have biodiversity. Many people don't realize that honeybees are the active part of our biodiversity that makes pollination possible. Honeybees are getting sick because of some of the things we're doing to them. We're changing their landscape. So that's not as important to honeybees, but it is critically important to our Hawaiian endemic honey and bees. Especially our solitary yellow-faced bees that are now on the endangered species list. Without those solitary bees that are unique to Hawaii, we wouldn't also have orchids that rely solely on those endemic bees for pollination. So the bees would go extinct and the flowers that they pollinate would also go extinct. So I'm coming up with a proof of concept solution to work on a organic homeopathic honeybee feed that would allow bees to be able to maintain their strength, get healthy, and grow their population numbers naturally instead of what some beekeepers do is they rely on antibiotics but that's only for honeybees that's why we have a dwindling population of solitary bees for example i want to make a case for change after my proof of concept that says that yes these hawaiian medicine plants are the specific plants that are able to bring bees back to the healthy status, then we could have, for example, here at Ala Moana Beach Park, trees that are medicine traditional plants endemic to Hawaii instead of just random trees that are just used for shade. Yes, it's beautiful, but over the past about 10 years, all of the medicine plants have been taken out of the parks by choice because they've been cut down and they've been replaced with trees that are less useful to honeybees, solitary bees, and people in general. Beach still looks pretty, but the rest of the health of our land, our breath of our land, is reduced. I'm trying to make a proof that these trees will be able to benefit nature, take care of our land, and be pono, respectful and responsible and righteous. My value is that once I prove my concept of a healthy organic honeybee feed, it could be distributed not only to the 200,000 American hobbyist beekeepers, but to the 3,000 American commercial beekeepers that have 2.5 million hives yearly. So that would bring in revenue back to Hawaii while valuing endemic medicine trees that are here a part of Hawaii and makes Hawaii unique instead of a valueless crop like a cash crop that just gets sold overseas but brings in too much pollution carcinogens 
pesticides, wastes water, makes runoff. There are many disadvantages to having a cash crop and many advantages to having endemic Hawaiian native medicine plants prosperous here in Hawaii commercially for many reasons. Not only would it support bees, but it would support agriculture here in Hawaii. It would increase food production and it would most importantly make sustainable choices for Oahu, Honolulu, and all of the state of Hawaii. Hopefully Hawaii could be the first sustainable, organic, or natural state and reduce all of the pesticides into being natural solutions for our growing commercial economy. Why am I the choice for this position? I'm more than passionate about honeybees. Yes, I am more than a little crazy. I know I get stung and my joke is I only get stung daily. They go home at night. What I am is a, an American third generation master beekeeper from a line of Norwegian beekeepers who's been keeping bees from the 1400s in Norway and now here in America, now. My children are 17th generation cultural practitioners of medicine in the Pacific Islands. They help their mom pick women's medicine or eye medicine. They know what plants to pick the medicine from, what part of the plant is the important part, and how to recognize the value of plants. I'd be more than happy to have a longer discussion with anyone, and I'm more than happy to discuss my technical barriers that I'm working on. Currently, $30,000 for more hive equipment and $10,000 for laboratory testing for the bee feed to see its value and see its potency in regards to hive health and hive strength. Mahalo nui loa. Thank you very much.